वेलकम बैक लेट इज नाउ सॉल्व और डिस्कस द एक्सरसाइज 6.7 पॉइंट सेवन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फाइंड अ वॉल्यूम एंड सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ स्फियर ऑफ रेडियस फोर पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस बिकॉज दिस इज अगेन अ डायरेक्ट सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ फॉर्मूला रेडियस इज गिवन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वॉल्यूम एंड सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ स्फियर यूज द फॉर्मूला सब्सटीट्यूट रेडियस इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट टू एंड फाइंड आउट द आंसर This question was appeared in March 15 exam for three marks. Very simple. You have to find out two things, and three marks are yours. Let us see second one. The volumes of two spheres are in ratio 27 is to 64. Second problem. V1 upon V2 is 27 upon 64. Further, they say. Find their radii if the sum of their radii is twenty-eight centimeter. Now we have to find the radius of both. If the sum of the radius or sum of the radii is twenty-eight. Now if the radius of the first is r one, then the radius of the second sphere will be twenty-eight minus r one. Correct. So now we'll substitute in the formula. V1 upon V2 is 27 upon 64. So I'll say V1 upon V2 is 4 by 3 pi r1 cube, and upon V2 is 4 by 4 by 3 pi 28 minus r1 cube. We know this 27 by 64. 27 by 64, 4 by 3 will get cancelled. Pi will get cancelled, and we have r1 cube upon 28 minus r1 bracket cube. Before going further, we can take the cube root of the both the sides. Then what we'll get? When we take cube root of both the sides, we will get 3 upon 4 is equal to r1 upon 28 minus r1. Now, please pause your video here and solve this expression to find out the value of r1. Take 28 minus r1 to that side, 4 to this side, and calculate to find out the value of r1. Once you get the value of r1, subtract it from 28, and you will get the value of r2. And that is what we have to find out both the radii. So, please pause your video here. And solve this to find out R1 and R2. The answer is R1 is 12 and R2 is 28 minus 12. That is 16. Don't forget to write the unit centimeters. So this is extremely simple. Whenever the ratios are there, you have to solve in this fashion. Okay. Let us go to next example. Third example is the surface area of a sphere is 616 cm square. What is its volume? Simple thing. Surface area is given. You can definitely find out the radius of that sphere and once you get the radius, you can easily find the volume of the sphere. So, very simple direct substitution of formula, you can easily solve this sum. Okay? Let us go ahead. Fourth example: If the radius of a sphere is doubled, radius of a sphere is doubled. What will be the ratio of its surface area and volume as to that of the first sphere? Now, first of all, what is the formula? Uh, they want the ratio of surface area to volume. What is the formula for surface area? This is the Sphere one, four pi r square, and volume of the sphere one is four by three pi r cube. Now they say the radius is doubled now. Okay, so when the radius is doubled, what is the surface area of the second sphere? That is four pi into two r square. And what is the volume of that sphere? Is four by three pi 
2r cube. Now they want a ratio of surface area and volume. So now we have to find out the ratio of the surface areas of the second sphere to the first sphere with respect to the first sphere. So we want to take AS2 upon AS1 that is the surface area of second sphere to the surface area of the first sphere. What is the surface area of the second sphere? That is 16 pi r square and here we have 4 pi r square. This pi and r square will get cancelled and we have 4 is to 1. Similarly, we want the ratio of volumes. So, Vs2 upon Vs1, we have 4 upon 3 pi into 8 r cube. And here we have 4 upon 3 pi r cube. So, 4 upon 3 and pi will get cancelled, r cube will get cancelled and we have ratio 8 is to 1. So very simple example. Only you have to check properly the wording of the problem. What they have asked. In this case some students may take as AS1 upon AS2. That is the surface area of the ratio of surface area of the first sphere to the second sphere. But And their answer will be 1 is to 4. But what they have asked, they have asked what will be the ratio of its surface area as to that of the first sphere. That is they have asked the ratio of second sphere to first sphere. So this is the ratio of second sphere to first sphere. Okay. So read the problem very carefully. Let us solve fifth problem. The curved surface area of a hemisphere, so the curved surface area of the hemisphere is 905 centimeter square. What is its volume? Don't get afraid by this. Okay, you know how to solve this. So, how will you solve this? This is nothing but 905 into 7 plus 1 upon 7. Correct? This is centimeter square. From this you can find out the radius and from radius we can calculate the volume of this hemisphere. This is nothing but divided by 7 and we have the formula of the curved surface area of hemisphere 2 pi r square. You can easily calculate r. Now here you can take the value of pi is 22 by 7. So what will have 6336 upon 7 is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into r square. This 7 will get cancelled here and then you can divide 22 into 2, 26336 and then take a square root of that you will get value of r. So first calculate the value of r here and then you can substitute that value of r in the formula for the volume of hemisphere. So please pause your video and finish this calculation now. The answer is R is equal to 12 centimeters and volume centimeter cube 3620.57 centimeter cube. So friends here we are finishing exercise 6.7. Now I already told you that whenever we are taking or considering the uh, single solid items or single solid figures like a sphere, hemisphere, cone or the right circular cylinder, the calculations or the sums are very easy. But now we are going to start the next topic that is the application. Means we have learned a single single figures. 
but now we are going to learn the combination of figures let us go to the next topic is application